Hey guys, um, a while back I said in one of my videos that I needed to replace, I needed to find replacements for all of my Martha Stewart tools because they um, are no longer going to be available once they're gone, they're gone. And I really like using things that you guys can get your hands on because even, um, even seasoned crafters, sometimes their tools break. And if I'm using something you can't get a hold of, then, you know, you're going to ask me where I got it and I'm going to have to tell you you can't get it anymore. Um, but mostly because the newer crafters, you know, they may not already have these tools. And so when I'm using them in a video, then they um, ask me where I get them. And if they're not available anymore, then, you know, again, that kind of stinks. So I want to use stuff that you can get your hands on. So I had said that in a video um, a while back, right? So then I just recently did a video where I bought myself this We Are Mimi Keepers Trim and Score um, thing. And I did a review on it, and it's okay. I like it. It's 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 not my favorite. I don't like um, the trimmer or this flimsy thing here. If that wasn't there, I would totally dig it. Uh, oh, and I didn't point out in my review that the numbers are backwards. So um, that kind of made it hard for me initially when I was trying to score with stuff or score like with measurements. I don't know. So anyway, so I've been using this, and you will still see this board. Um, through the whole, I've already filmed the Everlasting printable mini album, which is, let me find it real quick so I can show you, which is this one. I've already filmed the whole album, um, so I just haven't edited, edited, <laughs> I just haven't edited all of the videos yet, <laughs> but I've already filmed the whole thing, and then I used this throughout that whole thing once I, I bought it for myself. So... I don't really care for it, and you'll hear me say that a couple times in the videos, which is kind of kind of stinks. But um, so I wanted to do this video now because when I mentioned this in um, a video a while back, May May from MayMayMadeIt.com um, and May May on on YouTube, she contacted me and she's like, "Hey, I heard you say you wanted to replace your tools, your Martha Stewart tools." Well, we've got some tools, so let me show you what she sent me real quick. She said, we just got the EK uh, Success tools in and um, the scoring board, the mini and the full size. Um, would it be cool if we send it to you? And I'm like, but uh, yeah. <laughs> so she sent me these and she also sent me art glitter glue. Yeah, you all have been recommending this stuff to me like crazy lately, so I finally get to try it. And she also sent me a little metal tip to go along with it on the top, I guess. And then she also sent me some craft knives, which I use a Martha Stewart craft knife. So uh, that'll be cool to try these out. These are kind of cool. I can't wait to try them out. Looks like they even got a little like snip snip thing. Anyway, I haven't, I've never seen these before, so she sent me these. And then she also sent me a heat embossing tool. And here's mine. This is a Martha Stewart. Look how grungy it is. <laughs> heat embossing tool. So that was just really, really cool. Um, but she sent me all of these things. Thank you so much, Mamie. And she also gave me a link to give you guys. It's a direct link to her shop if you're interested in any of these um, products and more. She's got a lot of cool stuff on there. So today... I am going to, I'm going to try out these new scoreboards. I think I'm going to try out the craft knife and the glue. I don't have anything to use this on yet, but this is a Marvy embossing heat tool. So um, the next chance I get, I'm going to try this out. It looks pretty cool. So anyway, again, thank you so much, May May, for sending me these tools. That was so awesome. So let's just go ahead and start. Let's get... Let's get these out of the packages. Oh, I'm also, I've also kept these out so that we can like compare because from what I hear, they're supposed to be the same. So let me get these out of the packages and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I think that both boards are the same size. Um, I think they're the same on the front and back. They're just different colors. Um, they look like they're, these look like they're exactly identical except these are different. This, this, these um, bone photos, but I never liked Martha Stewart's bone photos in the first place, so um, that doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> but 
they look the exact same. The well, the the uh, indentions might seem to me might be a little bit deeper. Maybe just a little bit. I could be completely wrong on that, but it kind of looks like it. Maybe this one's just dirty. <laughs> I don't know. So there's the two, those two, and then here's these two compared. And I'm pretty sure these are the same size. Yeah, these are the same. Um, there isn't like Martha Stewart's has this thing here. I don't. I never really used it anyway. So there's the. I don't even know where the I don't even know where the bone folder went that was in there. Um, but anyway, I did notice that on Martha Stewart's there's a there's a notch right there, not a notch, but there's a line right there, and I think you were supposed to line up um, something specific. And I can't even remember what it was for. It was to line up something, an envelope. I don't remember, you guys. My brain, my my brain just stopped working. Um, but this one doesn't have that, so I don't know if that really even worked anyway. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> so this looks the same. Everything looks the same. Measurements cross top, measurements cross bottom. There is the envelope tool on the back. Whoops. My scoring board, or my score, what's this called? My bone folder fell out of there. Um, so they look the same in those respects. So I'm going to move these out of the way. I might end up donating these these two, the Martha Stewart and the We Are Memory Keepers, to something, some somebody that might get some use out of them. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm also going to try these out. So I've printed off. I've printed off. I'm, I'm going to try the glue too. These. This is the um, envelope template from my Mini Everlasting, and I was going to trim this out and um, use the glue to glue it together and use the scoreboard, all that. So let's just see um, how everything works. So I'm gonna get the these blades out. These are pin blades, push button retraction. It's a three pack pin blade. I've never seen them before. So they're different. They've got different like blades on them, right? And there's like the one in the middle is like a traditional craft knife. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up here. I'm going to get a craft mat out. Whoa. So here is my um, score pal craft mat. And I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna use, I think I'll use the traditional one I think to get the blade to come out you push like that and how do you get it to go back in oh <laughs> so you push down to get the blade to come out and then you push there to get the blade to come back in how do you get it to oh and if you want to just like cut some thread or something I think you can slice it in there that's pretty cool. I have to give that a whirl. I have to remember that. Okay, so I am going to go ahead. I need this bottom part here, so I'm just going to go. Oh, did you hear my grand puppy? She's here again today, so she's, um, oh, oh, look at me. I pressed down too hard. Don't do that. This even has measurements on it. Huh. I wonder what you would use the measurements for. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll have to do some more research on this. And then I wonder if I can just, instead of using scissors, I wonder if I can press it too hard. If I can just use my crack knife to cut this out. It would be easier, of course, if I could get over it, but... If I got my head in the way, you wouldn't be able to see. Sorry about my grandpappy. She just, she's a, she's, she's over a year old, but she is just, she definitely likes attention. <laughs> and she's, she's upset with me right now because I took her squeaky toy away because she wouldn't let me record. She kept squeaking. 
I think I'm pressing way too hard, just so y'all know. I mean, I know I am. This paper here is um, Die Cuts with a View Lilac Love. I got this pretty recently. It was either at, um, it was either at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Or not Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry. It was either at Joann's or Michael's. I did get off a little bit. But to, honestly, I don't usually use my craft knives for stuff like that, but I thought I would try. So there's that piece. Um, I need to trim these little ed edges off here. And then I'm going to trim this sucker out. I'm actually going to trim all the tabs off, so I am going to use just go ahead and use my craft knife. It's a very thin blade, I've noticed. There we go. I didn't press as hard and it wasn't near as <laughs> it wasn't near as hard to get through. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off. And I'll go ahead and cut this edge off here. I really like the craft knife. It's pretty cool. It's very sharp. I still don't know. Are these disposable? Does anybody know? I don't know. Because I don't see any way to change the blade. I'm sure there's a way. I'll just have to read more. I have to do more research on it. But I wanted to try them because I was so excited that she sent me all these things. And it was so very nice of her. So very kind. All right, I'm going to finish trimming this out. Um, and then I'll be right back with traditional scissors. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use the small one since I'm working with um, a small page. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try it with this bone folder. And oh, you know what? The first thing I need to do is mark my board. If I'm my Sharpie. I like to um, mark my board because of the way my templates work. Remember, I have to, um, a lot of the times I don't cut them straight. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and mark several lines. And so I have to line up the line that prints out onto the paper. Is it going to focus? There we go. Top and bottom. So you'd have to line this part and this bottom part up. So that's, you know, that's why I like to go ahead and mark mine. Whoa. Oh, I just replaced my thingy, my, my, mm -hmm, this thing here. I just replaced it and I just marked on it. All right, so I am going to use the provided bone folder. And there's nothing weird on the end. That's good. I had a hard time with that. We are memory keepers one. Not that it's a stupid idea. I just, I couldn't like burnish with the same tool. Not that I can burnish with the stylus either, so. I just, what I'm looking for is accuracy. Ooh, and this paper is very thin. I need to be very careful. Um, but it is double-sided paper, which is cool. So you can see the score marks really well. So let me score this one real quick. Okay. So then I'm gonna flip it over. Yeah, this one's a little bit easier to use. Um, because it doesn't have that bulb on the end there like the We Are Memory Keepers one does. I will link that video below. It was just, you know, just a few videos before this one, so I'll link it below if you want to check it out. See, I got a little heavy-handed with my scoring. This is some thinner cardstock pattern paper, so no big deal. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to try this glue. I've heard lots and lots and lots of stuff about this, and she sent it to me, and I'm going to use it, by golly. I think, to put this tip on, I think you just put it on. Firmly screw stainless tip onto black spout. Yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that, 
I've heard a lot of people say they love this stuff. It dries quick. You don't have a lot of wiggle room. You know, sometimes I need my wiggle room, but I've also heard that if you don't use it, if you don't make it too thick, that you won't see it through your paper. And this is kind of thin paper because you know how glue can warp. Um, cardstock, thinner cardstock, thinner papers. Um, nobody likes that. Nobody likes that at all. Okay. So let's see. I just screw it down, it says. I hope that there's nothing keeping this. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that might have been a little frustrating. Okay, so I like the idea of this little fine tip. Pretty tiny. And then it comes with a pen. I guess it's a stainless steel pen so that it doesn't um, stick to the glue. I don't know, we'll see. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna tack these, this bottom piece to the side pieces. So I'm just gonna try, put a little dab. Let's see if I should smear it just a little bit. And then I'm going to hold it down for a second. Maybe even do a little burnishing. But this side hasn't tacked yet. But I don't normally use wet glue for something like this anyway. But um, I usually use score tape. But I wanted to see if it works because, you know, you can go through some serious score tape in a project. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down to the part one of this envelope. So let's see how we do here. paper pretty. Of course it's purple. It's my favorite color. Okay, so it looks like that's good. It looks like that has been... Where's my... Tacked down pretty good. I don't see any warping. And this is thin paper, thin cardstock, so that's pretty good. I'm just so used to the score tape instant tack, you know? So, it's good and stuck down all the way around. So that's awesome. So I think I'm really gonna like this glue. Okay, so I've got my envelope all done and put together. I added my little bow for my template and I added my little bling because, you know, it's so cute. And a magnet closure. The glue held up, the, the glue did really good. I really liked it. So here's the scoop. So I am, like I said, I've already filmed all of the Everlasting, which here it is right here turned out really pretty so that is the ever i've already filmed it so the last video you'll see with that one will be the embellishing of the covers um and that's actually kind of a road trip kind of video but anyway so i use the we are memory keeper scoreboard all the way through that filming of those videos um but i did want you to know that since may may sent me these and these are exactly what i need i don't need all of that trimming stuff and everything um i'm going to be using these after that so when I'm about ready to start filming my mini everlasting so I'm going to be using these throughout that whole um, video series and I'm also going to use this glue as much as possible maybe not to um, add the pages and the binding and all of that but to matte and stuff like that um, I'm going to just really put that glue to the test because usually I use my Fabri-Tac you know I use this because it gives me a little wiggle room and everything and it doesn't warp my paper so I'm really going to have to put this to the test but all of this stuff is available at May May's um, shop and I will link that directly for you guys below in the description box. I'm also going to put these uh, to the test, these craft knives. I'm going to have to do a little more research on them, um, but they look pretty cool. They seem pretty cool. So we'll see on these. So I'm going to use these some more and I'm also going to use that heat gun she sent me. So again, thank you May May so much for sending me these tools. That is so awesome. Okay, so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment in the 
comment section below and let me know what you think of these. A lot of you recommended these to me, so um, thank you, and again, thank you, May May. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit this little circle right here and check out the other videos on the screen. It might be something you want to see. And I will link anything and everything I can think of in the description box below, um, including May May's shop. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.